Welcome to the basic tutorial on how to navigate through the PMA Virtual Bootcamp. You should have received the link to the PMA Virtual Bootcamp part of the Google site and have access. If you don't have access, please talk to write to Shulin and she will give you access. This is the main page. You can find the main page through the link or on the PMA Google site looking in the home tab on the left click on PMA Virtual Bootcamp. You'll see that we're a little bit under construction right now. So this page may look slightly different when you visit it on the first day of your bootcamp. The main page includes the learning objectives, the agenda, and we'll have more information about expectations and norms, including this video on how to start and use the site. We suggest that in order to find this page quickly and easily every day, every session of the bootcamp, that you consider bookmarking this page so that you know where to find it. You can also use it as a page on launch so that every time you open your browser, you will see the bootcamp page pop up. How to use this page? Well, you can see there are two different ways to go through the days from this initial page. You can look at the bootcamp agenda for which there are links to each day. You can also look at the menu on the right that has each day, days one through five, as well as some additional information. You might need to click on the triangle to reduce or expand and then you can click on the day itself or on the specific session that you would like to go to note that however you navigate normally you'll see suggestions at the bottom of the page that include links on where we think you might be going next if you're doing this in a linear fashion so let's look for example at 321 session you'll see that we have the title of the session, the session basics, including description, objective, a corresponding TCB skill, if there is one, along with facilitators in a time estimate. The estimate is the best we've got. You might want to pad in some time in case you go a little bit over. Then we have the session steps in turquoise. We'll tell you this is one step of a total of one on this page. And we're asking you to watch this video and respond to the pop quiz questions within the lecture video as prompted. So you can click, this is a YouTube embedded video. So you can click on the video to start seeing it. You can click subtitles off or on if that's helpful for you. And you can also click on the YouTube logo to watch on YouTube, which will pop it up within YouTube itself both on YouTube and in the initial embedded video, you have the option of watching full screen as well. We suggest that when you are working together in a group on these bootcamp sessions that you watch in full screen. So you go through these steps and if at any point you are unable to load the video or the document that we talked about, we tell you exactly where to look for this video or document in the Google Drive with the exact name of that document. We'll get to the Google Drive in a second. So once you go through all of the turquoise steps in a session page, we're going to tell you two things at the bottom. One, a reminder to share any questions or comments about this session on Slack in the channel for this day. So you see this is hashtag questions day three channel. We'll talk about Slack in a second as well. We also tell you at the bottom how to get to the next session. You could always navigate back to the initial page, or if you're going in a sequence, you can click to go to this next session and it will open up in a different tab. Most of these links will open up in a different tab, so you can always go back and look at the previous tabs or close them if you're done using them. So you see again for the next session, we have the session basics, we have the session steps, saying to watch this video either here or in YouTube. We 
talk about reviewing and comparing the PMA brief and the PMA 2020 brief when watching the video. So this is an activity. For an activity, we'll tell you where and to download the documents and which documents you need to download. Again, giving the name and then also telling you, giving you a link to the Google Drive. We also have the embedded documents. For most activities, you'll find on the session page itself documents that are embedded. You can click to open them. And then if handy as well, you can download them here to your desktop. So completely up to you. You might need to sign in to yeah, your Gmail account to download them to your desktop. You should have all of that access already. So you walk through the turquoise steps and at the end, you click to go to the next session. How to navigate back. You can click on the home page menu on the PMA Virtual Bootcamp. You can also use the page chain at the top. So if you want to go back to the day three main page, you can click here if you want to go back to the PMA um, Virtual Bootcamp homepage. You can click here and here you're back on this main page. Remember that for each day, just like we were just in day three, there's an opening page with all of the sessions linked to each session and a brief description of the sessions themselves. Let's talk a little bit more about activities. So if you're looking at, for example, the TCB library, you'll see that we ask you to watch this video. And then we tell you to watch the video and complete the activities described in the video. Normally, what you'll see at those different points of the video is a pause reminder. So let's look for that pause reminder. At the pause reminder, we ask, we give you instructions for the activity and we ask you to pause and try it out. So some activities are embedded within the video. We'll tell you that in the turquoise step, we'll describe it in the video. And then as you're going through this bootcamp as a group, you will pause the video once you hear the instructions, complete the activity that's described and then play to continue. You'll also notice that sometimes there is a pop quiz that's embedded in the video itself. For example, in session 341, 42, 43, 44, the new indicators walkthrough, we tell you in the turquoise step to watch this video and respond to the pop quiz questions within the lecture video as prompted. You'll see as you play the lecture video that the pop quiz will come up. And you'll hear your facilitator asking the questions and you have two options. You can either pause the video, discuss the response amongst yourselves, raise hands, vote, whatever you want, and then continue the video. Or you can let the video play and decide to simply raise your hands or shout out the answers. Your best option is to stay active with the video. Don't just watch it, really react to these pop quizzes. Some activities also involve a quiz. So in session 351 A and B, you'll see we ask you to watch a video and respond to the questions, to complete a practical activity where we give you the document as well as its name and a link to the document in Google Drive. And then we also ask you to complete this quiz. You have two options for completing the quiz. You can either use the form here to type in your answers or you can click on the link to access and complete the quiz in another window. Note that some quizzes are individual, some are in group. In fact, I think most are individual. So please, you might be watching the videos and doing the activities together. But if we ask you to complete the quiz individually, every participant should be on their laptop completing the quiz for themselves. Let's take a look at Google Drive to see how all of these different documents are organized in the drive. You should all have viewer access to the folder called PMA Virtual Bootcamp Public Backup. 
this should be something that you download and sync onto your laptop as early as possible. So you have offline backups of all of the bootcamp uh, materials. If you have any issues accessing the materials within the different uh, Google site pages, or if your internet is just not having a great day, you will then already have this backup on your computer. To download, you can go to the per, uh, settings and get drive for desktop and then follow the steps to download the application to your desktop and sync with all of these folders or just the folder in your language. You'll note that Google Drive functions more or less like Dropbox in that you can access documents online with a connection, but if you set it up to sync to your desktop, you will also have it automatically syncing any and all new documents in the background for offline access as well. So in this virtual bootcamp backup folder, you would go to the English folder and you'll see that the materials are organized by day. And when you open up a day, you'll see subfolders by session. So along with the agenda that we'll provide you, you could say, okay, it's time to start 221A through C. And you'll watch the video that will be in here soon. You can look at the transcript of the video to get a word by word read if you're having some issues or want to review the content. You'll also see a PDF version of all of the PowerPoints presented in the videos. And then if there's an activity, there will be an activity folder with instructions along with all of the different documents you might need to complete that activity. Remember to download to your desktop this Google Drive folder as quickly as possible so it can begin syncing to make sure that you have an offline version of everything to complete the bootcamp without issues of internet standing in your way. So what about Slack? Remember we said that there are these channels listed at the bottom of each page where you can share any questions or comments. There are also going to be some activities where we ask you to share your results in Slack. Please sign up for Slack, our Slack space called PMA Collaborative ahead of time. If you do, all of these links will work. You'll click on the link. It will ask you if you want to open in Slack and you will confirm when you join this Slack PMA collaborative Slack space, you should be automatically invited to five to seven different channels to the general channel, which you can use for just about anything. Say hello to people, share different things. We'll be sharing updates on here. Also question channels for each day, days one through five. When you have a question, add it to this channel and uh, call people out. If you have a specific question for someone by typing ampersand, that at sign, and then starting to type their name, you can select their name and you can send them a message and they will receive a notification specific to the message that you sent to them. So if you are completing a session with uh, Shulin as a facilitator and you have a question for her about that session, you can write it in the, the questions day channel for that day. For any session that has homework that says, please go to Slack and tell us about this or that or share your results, look for the session number. So right now we have about seven sessions where within the Google site, those turquoise steps, we say, please go to Slack and share something. Do it in that specific session channel. So basically Slack serves the function of Q and A question and answer for all of the days and also of sharing your different activities. And finally, as a fun space as well. There is a channel you should be invited to called Z Fun Divertissement, where you can say Happy New Year in Ethiopia. You can greet everyone else, share photos. This is our social space. 
Whatever you're doing in Slack, we request that you try to share your message in both English and French. So every time you have a message, you can copy it. And then we'll ask you, we'll suggest that you use a program called Deepl. You can go to the website, deepl.com and translate there. You can also use this amazing download. If you download for Windows, the application is great. Paste your text in here, copy the French text and add it to your message. That way we're including both the Anglophones and the Francophones in all of the Slack chat. If you're struggling with using Slack, uh, ask your learning ambassador for help. Also, we highly encourage you to download the app either for your desktop and or for your smartphone. It makes using Slack that much easier and more convenient. In addition to our Google site as the main page, our Google Drive to have backup documents and activity documents and our Slack space where we will have Q and A's and a bit of sharing about activity results as well as a bit of fun space. You will also be using Stata. So please make sure that you have Stata installed on your computers and you're ready to use it as a handful of activities in days two and three require Stata. If you have any questions as you go through these five days of the bootcamp, please reach out to us. You have your learning ambassadors in country. You have a great team of people willing and ready to help you on Slack. And if all else fails, send us emails as well. Enjoy the virtual bootcamp and it will be great to see you online.